Good afternoon everyone, it's Krebs here, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of War Thunder. How are you guys getting along? Krebsy is just fine. So, in the last episode we were taking a look at some USSR planes. It was Dogfighting 101, there was no commentary. As you might notice, there is a commentary this time. And we're going to be taking, uh, stepping it up a slight notch. And we're going to be going up to the level 5 planes of USSR. Working my way up to level 6, so chances are the next episode will be level 6 planes. But for now, let's take a look at the level 5 ones. Right, so the first uh, three planes that we're going to be flying out in the battles ahead are going to be the level 5 ones, such as the I-153P, the Yak-7B, and the IL-2. Let's do a little bit of analysis before we head on into those games. Right, so this uh, plane over here, the I-153P, is the first plane in the USSR tree that has twin... 20 millimeter cannons. No, it doesn't mean it's the most powerful one because if you look at the IL-2, it has twin 23 millimeter cannons. All right, but in its own regards, it's the first plane that gets twin 20 millimeter uh, cannons. And the funny thing is, if you've played USSR before, if you go ahead and take a look at this, the M62, it's basically the same plane, isn't it? It's just a little brother of it. At the level one, it only has four 7.62 millimeter machine guns, whereas at level five. It has 20 millimeter, uh, two cannons. <laughs> so I'm guessing they're just done, they just did that for balancing sake. If you had twin cannons at level one, that would be ridiculous. But uh, yeah, probably for balancing issues. Uh, the Yak 7B has two 12.7 millimeter guns, so not the 7.62 millimeters. It has the more powerful caliber, and it has a single 20 millimeter cannon. So it's good in its own respect. Uh, no complaints about it. But I think my most favorite one thus far has been the IL-2. Because this thing, whilst it's not completely like a bowfighter, it's reminiscent of the bowfighter. And I feel comfortable when I'm playing it. It has two 7.62mm uh, machine guns, two 23mm cannons, so very, very powerful. And amongst all that, it also has the nifty addition of freaking bombs and rockets, if that is not appetizing enough. So, another really interesting point I want to talk with you guys here. I will talk about it in just a second. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be holding on to it in anticipation. Uh, but I think my most favorite plane in it so far is the uh, Kitty Hawk over here at level 4. The reason being because it has 6 12.7mm machine guns, so the higher caliber. It's machine guns, I know, but it's 12.7 millimeters. It's surprisingly effective, especially with six of them. Has plenty of ammo as well. Uh, so very, very nice plane. Love the Kitty Hawk. Thumbs up to you, Kitty Hawk. Uh, right, so what I was uh, going to be talking about was a few of you have been saying in previous videos, if you're playing an attacker, if you're playing as a fighter and you're trying to dogfight, you shouldn't have any bombs on you. And I like to try to refute that by saying, well, it's really up to your playstyle. I'm an advocate of having bombs because I like to have those bombs just in case if there's ground targets in front of me or if I'm trying to escape somebody tailing me by dropping a bomb near ground level and then they would cr uh, crash into that explosion that's a result of dropping those bombs. But I wanted to find out some exact specifics because you guys have been saying, yeah, the bombs will slow you down, uh, they're not good for dogfighting, so I want to find out exactly how much they impact your plane. So I'm not going to throw exact specifics here, maybe I'll throw out one statistic, but I went ahead into some test flights and what you'll see here is I tried out a variety of different combinations. So say if we had the IL-2 with 20 minutes of fuel, it had all the rockets, the large diameter ones, so the RS-132, it had the four uh, 100 kilo bombs, just everything was pretty much to the max. It takes 14.5 seconds to start from the zero, you stand still, to the moment you actually uh, take off from the ground, okay? 14.5 seconds. What I did next was I got rid of the bombs, I got rid of the rockets, so it's just my cannons and 20 mil minutes of fuel. It took me 12.2 seconds, so just over, just over uh, two seconds uh, shaved off from not having those extra bombs and rockets. So I did a little bit more dabbling, I tried different combinations. What I found to be the most effective and fits my playstyle the best is this combination. The RS-82 with 8 rockets and 4 100 kilo bombs. Reason being because, as I was saying, I like to ground strike targets when I can. I like to drop uh, bombs on targets. 
I'll say yeah, people who have landed at the airfield or if I need to escape someone. So I'll carry the four uh, 100 kilo bombs. I'll drop three of them and I'll keep one just in case. I've selected the RS-82 rockets instead of the 132 rockets because... This is quite surprising, I thought for myself. I don't know if you guys will share it as well. But the RS-82 rockets have almost no impact at all on takeoff times, at least from what I've measured. Uh, whereas the 132 actually shaves off like about a half second. Um, if you have them on, they puts on about an extra half second until you can take off. So maybe in the long run, it would be you know something that you have to take into consideration. But the RS-82, no impact at all. It's negligible. Neg I can't even say that word properly. But you get the point. So that is the combination that I'm going with. Alright, so I think that's it. We'll go ahead and start a game up. Woohoo! How is Krebs gonna do? I don't know. Who knows? I think I'm gonna fly out in the IL-2 first off. There's 22,440 people online at the moment. A lot of people. It's not even peak times right now. It's uh, 3, almost 30 when I'm making this cast right now on a sunny day in Scotland. Not that that impacts why people are playing, but <laughs> uh, apparently people have been saying, and I've got a few comments, that people have been saying that they've been seeing War Thunder ads everywhere on the internet. I am so happy! Well done, Gaijin! Well done! I'm, I'm loving it that you're advertising this game. I don't want it to go to waste because it's such a great game. Right, so we'll go ahead and load five minutes of fuel into there. And then hop in to the IL-2 and we shall see what can we can make of it. Alright, so let's check anyone below me. I can drop three bombs. That's okay. <laughs> what you don't want to do is drop three bombs on top of somebody. Uh, especially right at the beginning. Okay, so let's take a wee flank and we'll head towards where my, uh, my vehicles are. And maybe we will try to intercept anyone that comes this way. Look at all the people who are going in to try and cap. So this is why I don't even bother. I think it's quite risky to try and cap when you've got so many people congested in one little area. And plus, you know, it's so easy to cap a point. You could do all that for no effort, uh, for no reason. All well, your effort will be wasted because somebody might cap it before you. Anyway, gonna go for the Beaufort over here. Because he's coming straight for us. Straight for the targets. And let's put on the combat flaps. I'm going to miss him slightly here. Remember, this is an attacker, mind you. And let's start raining some hell down. Unfortunately, he has flown away. And yeah, he's gone. He shot down. Okay, didn't manage to actually get him, unfortunately. Uh, G50 just down here. Maybe we can take him out. And let's turn on this combat flaps again. Come on, Krebs. That's more like it. Get those cannons of fury up in the uh, sky. Take out some targets. Here we go. We got OS2U coming straight in. Gonna be easy kill. No problem at all. Another Beaufort high in the sky. Another easy kill. Oh, BF down there. Gotta be careful that guy. And we are at critical speed at the moment. Let's see if I can... Ah! Or she's just too fast. It makes that wee dive and that's it. Can't catch up. So let's see if I can take out the BF at least. Whoa, we got a bit of congestion going on here. Alright, bullfighter. Look at him, the BNZ tactics, eh? Zoom and zoom. Beaufort's miles away now. Uh, I don't see anyone nearby. But yeah, Beaufort's uh, just flying away at the moment. As soon as he makes a turnaround, when is he going to make a turnaround? I think he's just trying to uh, get as much distance as he can. See, look behind him, see if everyone's gone, and then he's going to turn back. Okay, HE. Sounds good to me. Guess we'll go for this guy then. Now let's get this combat flaps on again so we can try to turn a little bit here. Come on, 
die. Don't get away from me. Don't get away from me. Ah! How many shots can you take? There we go. Finally. Wow, looks like everyone's coming in around here. Including the uh, fighters now, so... What we had was just the attackers and some uh, light bombers. Or uh, big bombers, rather. And now we've got the, the wee fighters. Could be making a wee stance here. So I'm going to try to help my uh, teammate. I don't want him to die. There we go. Help out your teammate. We captured the airfield. And you can survive in numbers. Okay. Uh, let's try to go for this F2A because he's the closest guy around here. Always a nice target going for the closest one. Ah. Unfortunately, it's an attacker. You guys got to remember that. This thing is an attacker. It's not gonna have the best uh, maneuverabilities, no matter what you do, no matter how much fuel you've got in it. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing, he knows what he's doing, I'm actually almost tempted to stop chasing after him. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop this, stop unless he comes closer, because he knows exactly what he's doing. Um, doing some very evasive maneuvers in the sky there. Just moving his uh, mouse around quite sporadically and it was just irritating to even try to shoot him not only from a distance but yeah it's because he was moving around so much Hi. there we go I'm surprised nobody's even decided to pick on me yet usually what you can do is uh, when you just tab out see who on the enemy team has the most kills and if you see them Go for him. Don't like how there's uh, hurricanes flying near me. Uh, let's try to get back a bit here. I don't know why nobody's coming for me. Am I just like is there something wrong? <laughs> is there something about me that's intimidating? I guess. Woohoo! That's one way to do, and that's why I keep rockets on me, guys. That is why I keep rockets on me, especially the straight-on engagements. Oh shit, looks like a points are capped. Uh, I'm gonna go try to help here. Uh, hopefully nobody starts tailing around me. Oh man. Not even gonna bother. Not even gonna bother. Right, maybe I can actually start tailing, turning around here. I'll try to help out my ally who's being chased on up. Uh, maybe we can get a Spitfire. Come on, Spitfire, die, 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 die. No. Nope. No more cannons. Unfortunately. Whoa. Gotta be careful. I'm just crashing into my teammates here. Oh, uh, the Spitfire. Either his engine's dead. I don't think it's dead, but uh, I think he's just turned his throttle off completely. Die. There we go. Alright, so who wants the uh, next piece? Uh, I guess this... Fire? Nah, he's not really bothering me right now. I think we'll go for the hurricane because he's going to be coming straight at me. Yeah, unfortunately I missed that. Is he going down? No. Okay, but I don't like where I'm at right now, guys. I don't like where I'm at. <laughs> he got me, he got me. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Jeez, my guys weren't around me. Like, I thought nobody was around me to support me, but... Seems like everyone just appeared out of nowhere as soon as I got shot down. Okay, so the next plane we'll go on into is the... Let's go ahead and just fly in into, into this one. Uh, so remember when we were talking about this is the plane that's basically the same thing as the level one? Yeah, it's basically the same thing as the level one, except it's got cannons on it, which is always nice. Uh, it doesn't have any combat flaps or raised flaps on it, so don't expect, uh, don't expect to be, uh, don't start screaming at Krebs saying, "Oh, put your combat flaps on!" Blah blah blah. Doesn't have that on this old H plane. Okay, the pull fighter up in the sky. Should I? 
I don't know. Is he gonna be coming for me? I'm afraid he might be. Right. Pull out, go for his P26. Looks like he's trying to dogfight his F2A. Ah! Can't do it, can't do it. Oh yeah, another really interesting thing about this play. Uh oh. Uh oh, I can't, I can't get out! I can't get out, guys! I cannot, I cannot turn! I couldn't turn. It just wasn't happening. I guess I was going too fast. I don't know. Don't really know how to explain that. If one of you guys can maybe explain it. I just don't even know what was happening. I guess I was going too fast down in a dive. And, uh... Unfortunately, I just didn't have the uh, capabilities of moving out of it. So I think if there's a lesson to be learned from that we crash. Don't get too much speed in that plane. And even slight angles is going to be uh, too troublesome. Okay. There we go. All right, let's turn around and see if we can catch up to this guy. If you can't see him, sometimes what you can do is just look on the minimap where they are. Ah, uh, the guy's been shot down already. But if you can't see him when your G-forces start kicking in, uh, you can just look at the ma uh, minimap quickly in the top right, and you can just see uh, just about where they are. Give you uh, a bit of orientation where the enemy is. Let's see, I don't see anyone else around here. Hopefully we've got a few more guys to back us up because two verse what, five six doesn't really look too comforting at the moment. Uh, all right. <laughs> Guess we'll go for the HE down there. Looks like he's actually landed, uh, but he would be a very very tantalizing kill. Nah, he's gone. I think his engine must have cut out and he went for a soft landing. I blame the guy. Okay, here we go, balls deep. Oh, freak, 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 freak. Don't want to get shot by the bullfighter. Please, bullfighter, leave me alone. Woo! Turn, 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 turn. Keep turning, keep turning. <laughs> I'm hoping that these guys won't be able to chase me. We've got a yak slightly behind. And I'm just gonna keep on turning, and I'm gonna say somebody to uh, cover me. Please. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, grabs. <laughs> Maybe I can take out the full fighter if I'm lucky. Oh dear. That was good damage here though. Okay, this bullfighter is screwed. Yeah. That's what I thought. This guy's still going for me. He's still going for me, guys. He's still going for me. He's not going to give up, is he? Can we get revenge on this yak? It's a bit far away now. Fuck it. Just go for it. Come on, I want revenge. I want revenge. You try to kill me, I want revenge. Come on. At least get this guy down. Then I'll be happy. Yes. Yes! <laughs> sweet, sweet revenge. I don't want to land just yet because there's way too many of them around here. We're hitting him, but he's too far away now. Oh, hello, bullfighter. Nice to see you around these, uh, this neck of the woods. I have a feeling that Yak is gonna come for me. I have a feeling I was the one that killed him. Maybe he's gonna want a bit of revenge. Woo! We've got a bullfighter! We've got a bullfighter! Yeah. Let's try to just, uh, disengage. <laughs> And uh, focus elsewhere, maybe? Oh my god! Yeah! Best thing you can do to try to uh, get away from a bow fighter is just out turn them. Uh, unfortunately, if there's two bow fighters, it makes it a whole lot more difficult. 
Alright, fuck my life right now. Let's go into the Kitty Hawk plane. Here we go. Krebs is 10 kills at the moment. God damn it, could be better though. Uh, what's my competition? Toxic Reaper. He is my competition. It's SB2M over there. And yeah, it looks like they're. Their planes are being whittled down at the moment. Howdy over there! You're taking your time to get to the battlefield, aren't you? You're taking your time. I wonder if it's intentional. Ah, oh, you can go faster than that. Come on. Alright, well, here we go. I'm just getting closer to B, and they keep on spawning. They keep on spawning. They're winning? How's that? Alright, Yak and MC202, am I more afraid of? Well, I don't really know right now. I think the uh, Yak, to be honest, but uh, anyway, let's see, where'd this guy go? Where'd he go? Just lost him. This is directly below me, yeah. Only unfortunate thing about the Kitty Hawk is not completely maneuverable. Its gun's powerful, but it's not really maneuverable. Okay, you're mine. You're mine. Well, I hope so, anyway. Ah! As I was saying, not an absolutely maneuverable plane. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There we go. And Beaufort. I'm not gonna bother with him, I'm gonna go for his lag instead here. Oh he took a lot of shots there. I wouldn't doubt if his if his uh, wings look like Swiss cheese right now. And he's a lag as well, he's not gonna be that mean Okay, he's gone, fighter's nightmare. Ah, look at this Beaufort go. Look at him go. I think he's trying to dogfight with his remaining planes here. Happen, man. Not gonna happen. Let's go for the engines if we possibly can. See you later! Let's go. Okay, and let's maybe go in for what they call a landing. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. Ah, oh, he's gonna get it first, isn't he? In it. He's gonna get it first, isn't he? I mean, I got no air brakes. Ah! <laughs> uh, I just wrecked my uh, engine by landing so poorly. That's frustrating. Well, I'm definitely not going to be getting up now. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Yeah, that death definitely shouldn't have happened. Uh, let's try going in the lag. This plane is complete lag. Right, here we go. Just drop the bomb. Keep the other one, just for show. Where they got left. An SB2M. And I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. I was gonna say, maybe he's doing some high dive or high sky bombing, but there's no clouds. Don't worry for him to hide. Anyway, but he's, uh... Around here. Go for it. We're decapping them. Over the victory points, relatively fast right now. Oh wow. Me and that, uh. Yeah, me and that dragonfly on their team. Yeah, we're tied, aren't we? We're tied for kills. Still got more points though. He's already dead. He's off the field. And he seems like he must be a good player. He's got the uh, same number of kills as me. I'm not bragging! I'm not bragging! Maybe I am. Okay! Alright, so can we teach this uh, SB, SB2M uh, a lesson in pain? I think so. I think they're just getting into a turning war over here at the moment. Come on, let me get the most kills in the game. Top of them. 
Well, we set him on fire. There we go. Krabs has achieved the most kills in the game. Woohoo! Good stuff. I was thinking maybe I should drop a bomb on him just to uh, end it in style, but <laughs> that would have been overkill, wouldn't it? Wouldn't be funny. There we go. We won by VPs and also by annihilating them. No more uh, planes. You're all right. There we go, guys. Mm. Yeah, the last step shouldn't have happened, should it? <laughs> I shouldn't have crashed my plane. My God, that was a bit pathetic. Next, and let's see. Do we get anything? Fighter, final blow. Isle two gunner. Okay, guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope it uh, showed you. Uh, these planes in a nice fashion. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Right, here we go. Three, two, one.